Wondering what the difference is between the Mark 7 Evolution and its successor, the Mark 7 Apex 10? You're going to find out in this video. Gavin Gear here from UltimateReloader.com. If you're interested in these premium 10 station progressive reloading presses, I've already got dedicated videos on the Mark 7 Evolution and on the new model, the Apex 10. These presses are very similar. So if you're interested in the Apex 10, which has replaced the Evolution, you're still gonna wanna check out those Mark 7 Evolution videos. I wanted to break down all of the changes. Some of these are pretty readily apparent. Others you might not understand until you hear the full story. So we're gonna start with the frame. The Evolution has a three-piece frame. It's billet CNC construction. That's been updated on the Apex 10 with a singular casting. Now there's a few things here that are helpful. First, it gets the cost down for the manufacturing. The Apex 10 comes with more equipment, which you'll hear about in this video, and it's available at the same price that the Evolution was offered at, and that is awesome. So getting that cost down is important. Uh, it also helps save cost on assembly because three different components don't have to be bolted together. And finally, it reduces tolerance stacking. That's right, if you've got three different parts that bolt together and they each have a tolerance of a thousandth of an inch, you could be off by about three thousandths of an inch and when you're reloading precision ammunition, that matters. Next, we've got some important changes to the priming system. The Evolution comes with a slide bar priming system that has been replaced by a rotary shuttle priming system on the Apex 10. Another important change is all of the parts and pieces are included with the Apex 10 for both large primers and small primers. You used to have to buy extra parts and pieces to swap over between the two when you would buy an Evolution. And finally, the Primer Express, the new uh, oscillating primer system, which you'll see here on my channel, is a bolt-on upgrade for the Apex 10. It can be added to the Evolution, but you're gonna need to buy the rotary shuttle upgrade parts, and then you'll be able to do that. So not a big deal if you have an Evolution, but if you have an Apex 10, you're ready to roll. Speaking of both large and small, priming related parts, both the large primer and small primer swaging rods are included with the Apex 10. Again, with the Evolution, you would have to order the other size, the size that you didn't get for the caliber that you ordered the machine for. So if you're loading uh, military crimped 308 and military crimped 223, you've got all the parts you're gonna need for those changeovers. Aside from the differences in the frame, the next most obvious thing when you see these presses side by side are the changes that Mark 7 made to the tool head itself. Functionally, the tool head is the same, but on the Evolution, it's billet aluminum CNC machined. On the Apex 10, it's cast iron CNC machined. What's nice about this is Mark 7 built the secondary guide rod into the tool head design. It used to be an optional upgrade for additional tool heads. For instance, when I changed from nine millimeter to 223, I had to unbolt that secondary guide rod and bracket and then bolt it on and then realign it. And if you order tool heads for the Apex 10, which are interoperable with the Evolution, they're gonna come with that secondary guide rod built in all the parts. Another way that Mark 7 is able to lower the cost of what they're building so that they can give you more. Another small change that can make a big difference when you're dealing with caliber changeovers is the fact that Mark 7 redesigned the mounting clamps for the case retention spring so that you can loosen one of those clamps, move the case retention spring out of the way, swap your shell plates, and you're back in business. With the Evolution, there's a couple extra steps of removing the clamps and then reattaching the clamps, there's two screws on either side. Just takes a little bit of extra time and that's extra time that you get back to load ammo. If you take a look at the two powder measures side by side, what you get with the Evolution and what you get now with the Apex 10, there are very slight changes. There's linkages on one side instead of both sides. There's also upgraded bearings on the new powder measure. 
So it's going to be a little bit smoother and also it's another area where they were able to reduce the cost to give you more. I would say the biggest change, the one that I'm most excited about personally, is the all new case feed system that's standard equipment with the Apex 10. You can see here side by side, the Evolution has a plastic bowl. It comes with parts for one size of case. So your spring drop tube, you'd either get large or small. And it uses a slide on mounting arrangement. The all new Mark 7 case feed system, they designed this completely from scratch, in-house has an all metal bowl. It's got this awesome window in the back where you can loosen two screws and you can completely empty the contents nearly instantly. Wonderful. I hate scooping out the cases. In some cases I would take the entire case feed bowl and dump it, that kind of thing. It's got improved feeding. It's got improved mounting. There's welded nuts here on the back and three screws that hold it to the pole. It's got variable speed and it's got a new kind of inductive style sensor instead of the micro switch. So there's nothing to get caught, the cases caught on in the drop tube. It's very instant and uh, motors, very quiet, very smooth. You're gonna have to check out the Apex 10 video to see that in, in motion. But the reverse button on here also is really nice because if you get a jam up, it enables you to basically relax that pressure that the feed plate has on those jammed cases and relieve the, the issue, sort out the issue and get back to loading. So the all new case feed system is a huge update and it's also gonna be available as an upgrade for folks that have the Evolution if you want this new case feed system. Couple additional notes about the case feed system that comes with the Apex 10. It does come with the large diameter and small diameter drop tubes and parts so to load pretty much any case that's compatible with this press. Here's what I'd like to know. What do you think of these presses? Do you have an Evolution? Are you looking at upgrading to the Apex 10? Do you want an Apex 10? I would love to know what you think. Please drop a comment and we'll start a discussion. If you have questions, we can answer those there as well. Also, make sure you're subscribed with notifications because I've got a lot more awesome Mark 7 content coming up. Also down there in the video description, I'm on Patreon. I got Ultimate Reloader shirts at the Ultimate Reloader store. Thank you for watching. As always, happy shooting and happy reloading. Yeah.